At the ball game by Eugene Field. What gods are heroes whose brave deeds none can dispute with a record or clear on the harp and flute? What lofty names shall sport of echo grant a place on Pito's crown or Helicon's cool, shadowy space? Sing not, my Orpheus, sweeping oft the tuneful strings of gliding streams and nimble winds such poor things, but lend your measures to a theme of noble thought and crown with laurel these great heroes as you ought. Now steeps Uranus a forfeit corn of furious mass, and from his oaken staff his fear speeds to the stars, and now he gains the territory goal, and turns, while whiskered boards by round the timid staff of burns. Lo, from the tribunes of the bleachers comes a shout, beseeching boat and so near to line him out. And as Apollo's flying chariot cleaves the sky, so Stange and so near lifts a frightened ball on high. Like a row of ocean beating on the Cretan cliff, a strong comisk gives a panting sphere a biff, and from the tribunes rise loud murmurs everywhere, and thrice and thrice Mycenaeus beats the mocking air. And as Achilles fleet the Trojan water sweeps, so horror sways the throng, the Ferio sleeps, and stalwart Connor, though by Mercury inspired, the equals Carolus defies and is retired. So waxes fierce the strife between these godlike men, and as the hero's fame grows by Virgilian pen, so let Claxonius Maximus be raised to heights, as far above the moon as moon or lesser lights. But as for me, the ivy leaf is my reward, if you were placed among the lyric bards accord, with crest exhaled, and oh, people with delight, I proudly strike the stars and so be out of sight.